Right, YouTube, this is Subs Me Please, and um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you uh, the new program me and Sneak Peanut have been working on for the last two and a half months. Uh, this program is called Tech Mods. Some of you may have already heard of it if you're part of the site. Just run that as admin. And basically, me and Sneaky Peanut have decided to build a program. Uh, which we wanted to make a little more successful for Modio, but for uh, JTAG users, instead of just uh, normal game saves and uh, profile hacking and things like that. So uh, I just log in to our program. Uh, you can actually make your own account by going to the website inside the program, like so, or you can actually go. Here in the little tool top, a uh, tool tip in the corner, and click on visit our site, and that will take you to the site in your favorite browser. So, yeah, after you've uh, signed up there, you'll need to log in. So, there we go, I've logged in, and now I can use the tools in the chat box. And just to show you some of the tools we have so far, I have Game IDs tool, and well. You pretty much all know what this is. It's just an Xbox 360 con reader, which reads uh, profiles and game saves and things like that. And we just made that as really basic, as obviously Modio have already overtaken with the game save part of things, because they have like a million members and nah, I don't know, but they have quite a lot of users. So there's no point trying to make something better than this if they're that successful. Uh, we also have game tools. We just made some basic ones like Saints 2 mod tool for many. Uh, that's pretty straightforward, you know what that is. Uh, Sonic mod tool, you know what that is too. And here's the special part of our tool because uh, no other program in the world currently has these tools. Uh, with this program, you can actually JTAG your Xbox just in within one program. Is they're opening several different ones by going to Easy Nan Pro, which Sneaky made this, and that's you don't actually need that, but that just helps you identify your consoles, and you can either choose region NANs using USB or LPT, choose your boards, and then it'll region NAN three times if it's detected. Uh, well, I can't do that right now because I'm. J tagging an Xbox, but yeah, that's pretty straightforward. And also, if you have a, a X, XBR3 already, I made this tool which helps you convert to Freeboot in a matter of a minute, and it pretty much works on any motherboard so far. Uh, but obviously, this is a beta, so there's a lot of bug fixes to come. Uh, we've also got except, well, that's pretty complicated if you don't know what it is. I'll show you that in a future video possibly. Uh, we also got Debian Flasher. With this you can put uh, Debian on your Xbox 360 but it has to be a JTAG obviously. Um, this is just to store your CPU keys. Say, I don't know, my JTAG Xbox. Can't be that long. <laughs> so you just put my JTAG I can even spell like so CPU key, which should obviously be something like that. That length, and you just save it, and there you go. You can now view your CPU, and that will still be there every time you open the program because it's saved to your um, computer's registry. So that's that, and um, so there's one exclusive section that our tool has, and the second. Is our title updates database and our Xbox Live arcade database. Now I made this and this took quite a lot of time to uh, make. So let's open those. It takes a while to load because it's got to load all the current updates from the server. And there you go, it's currently got 688 updates stood on the server. And if I just choose the save location.
and there you go you can see the updates update name well you told me you need the update names but you need to see what game the updates for so we got quite a lot of updates on here you need these if you're on a JTAG or sometimes if you're even on a normal Xbox and you can't get access to Xbox Live then this is, could be very useful to you so that's that and like I said Xbox Live Arcade Database this took quite a long time to make as you can imagine entering all this data just for the games just save that's my desktop too and here's the game list let's wait for that to load a second it's got quite a bit open at the bottom there we go if I load it now yeah so here you go we can view all the current arcade games on the Xbox Live Marketplace and you can download every single one of these it's around 300 of these I think you can actually click on one of them I don't know choose anything pick uh, Yaris for now which isn't which is actually free anyway but as you can see being removed from the Xbox Live Marketplace so if you want to download that just click download game I'm not going to do that right now because there's not enough time and um, just to let you know, this is a beta of the program. There's going to be a lot of updates in the future. And um, yeah, just sign up to the site, get on the forums, posting, and have a good time, really. Thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs this video up, and uh, let others know of our tool. So yeah, thanks for watching.